The second idea is the, the power of humility. Now, this, this photograph, which is taken by my friend Michael O'Brien, who took the extraordinary photographs of this book, The Great Minds of Investing, is, is of Howard Marks. And, and as, I, as I mentioned in my profile of, of Howard, when you're in the presence of, of, of Howard, you feel like you're in the presence of a very superior machine. He's one of those people who you just feel, man, this guy's so much smarter than I am. And he's, he's, he, he really is, at some level, one of, the, one of the greatest of the great minds of investing. This is a guy, he's, he's, he's overseeing, I think, $97 billion in assets at this point. He has this extraordinary reputation where, where Buffett would say, you know, when, when something arrives in the mail written by Howard Marks, it's the first thing I read. I drop everything and I read that. He's, he's worth a couple of billion dollars already. He's, uh, he, he, he bought an apartment in, in Manhattan for, I think, $52.5 million. So uh, he's, he's a very remarkable success story. And, and sort of a triumph of intellect and rationality. Yet one of the things Howard said to me when I, when I met him in his office, he has this beautiful corner office on sort of the 43rd floor of a Manhattan skyscraper. He said, the screwiest thing you can do is to think that you're a master of the universe. And this is a very important idea. He, he, he explained to me, A, the future is extremely uncertain. So you don't want to get carried away by this hubris of thinking that you know what the future holds. So he said, the, the only constant is impermanence. We, we just don't know what's going to happen. And so you have to be constantly looking at where we are in the cycle and thinking, you know, am I getting carried away? Am I taking too much risk given, given where we are in the cycle? Rather than just thinking, you know, I, I know what the future is going to bring. Just keep a, keep a careful gauge on the weather and think, like, am I, am I getting carried away? And that people do. Um, the other thing. Uh, that I would say about Howard Marks is he, he has this belief that comes from Japanese philosophy, from this, this idea of the turning of the wheel of the law, which is this Japanese word, um, mujo, where he basically says, you know, we're all just little cogs, and the world is going to keep on, the universe is going to keep on going without us, and, and, and so you can't get carried away by the sense of your own brilliance. And he, he's, he's fascinated by this idea of randomness and luck in his own life. So he said to me, actually, even, even something as simple as the fact that he became a very successful investor was a series of total flukes. So he, said, so he, he told me this wonderful story where he said that he, he, was, he got this job out of, or he applied for this job out of college at Lehman Brothers. And the partner at Lehman Brothers, who's supposed to call him and say, Howard, we're super excited to hire you, got drunk and had a hangover and totally failed to call him. So one of the reasons why he took this path, where he ends up you know, as an as a expert on junk bonds and the like, is just because he didn't go to Lehman Brothers, because a guy got drunk. And so he said, you know, before you start thinking you're a master of the universe, think about how many, how many lucky breaks came that, that, that you, know, you thought made you incredibly successful, but actually were just you know, the, this beautiful randomness or, 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 or these deep patterns, however you want to see it.